as lobbyist for the Biafra Republic Government in Exile in Washington, D.C. Please uh, put them on the screen. Uh, both of them, if they have somebody else, uh, you can bring all of them on the screen, please. Uh, Jean Moran can give him access to a mute. The same thing. I've, I've made them co host both of them, all right. so they can. Uh... All, right. all right, thank you very much. And uh... well, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Jim Moran. Uh, yeah. I served in the United States Congress uh, for approximately a quarter of a century. Uh, I, um, uh, after I left the Congress, uh, I began to uh, represent some corporations and countries and causes that I believe in. Uh, it has been uh, an honor to work with you, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, Elias Garasoulis uh, is my partner. Uh, this is uh, primarily uh, uh, Elias's uh, account, but uh, I'm going to be working with him. Um, while I was in the Congress, I uh, was on the committee that funds defense and the State Department foreign operations, as well as the Foreign Relations Committee. I have an interest in Africa. I was a principal uh, co-sponsor of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. But most importantly, I do believe that uh, uh, Biafran independence uh, is a uh, just and noble cause. Uh, and I trust that you have a bright future ahead. We will try to uh, secure your independence. Uh, we can't promise because the politics is not a particularly uh, predictable situation in the United States today and justice is not all we serve, but we will work towards that objective. Um, I, uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, to work on behalf of the Biafran people. And at this point, let me turn it over to Elias. Elias. Oh, thank, thank you, Jim. And it's an honor to be working with you on this. And we appreciate your, your lending, uh, your support, someone of your prestige and stature uh, that that association would be so critical. So thank you, Jim. I, I appreciate it. And thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, your excellencies and dear Biafrans in the United States and around the world. Uh, my name is Elias Rasoulis and I uh, am a good friend and a colleague of a Congressman Moran. And we are your new lobbyists here in Washington, D.C. Uh, however, you should know that we are more than just your lobbyists. We are fellow freedom fighters in the struggle for the liberation by Africa. And similar to how your compatriots and the Biafran Defense Forces are securing your freedom on the homeland, we will be fighting for your freedom in the political and diplomatic battlefield here in Washington, D.C. And we will make sure that all these U.S. officials, all these congressmen and senators understand that the Biafran independence movement is a pure democratic civilian uprising against injustice, the very same one that we had in the United States when we declared our independence from the British 200 years ago. On a personal level, uh, I knew I had to get involved in the struggle, not only because of my belief in the Biafran cause, but my belief in His Excellency, the Prime Minister Simon Ekba. As I got to know the Prime Minister, I could see that he has remarkable leadership qualities and vision. And I knew that instinctively that he was a man of destiny, and that he will have a very important um, impact in Africa uh, in the years to come. And I thought it was a personal duty uh, to assist him. Already, the prime minister has made uh, remarkable progress and has outsmarted uh, the Nigerian system in many ways. The prime minister has done this with the self-referendum. He has done this with opening uh, diplomatic liaison offices around the world. And I think by establishing a proper Biafran lobby, in Washington, D.C., the prime minister has delivered his master stroke. And if you can uh, look at the Nigerian media and the social media, uh, you will see that this is something that's been uh, highly publicized. And I think this is because they understand the moment that the United States starts to gain uh, more support for the Biafran cause, it will be uh, a game changer. Because when the United States leads, other countries follow. Congressman Moran and myself are your voice to the U.S. Congress, your voice to the White House, your voice to the State Department, 
your voice to the highest offices in this great land. And we will not stop until victory is achieved. Long live a free, independent, and sovereign Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for well, that brilliant speech there.